Uh, before Election Day, Republicans and Democrats are getting ready for potential court battles in the days that follow. North Carolina will continue accepting mail-in ballots that arrive more than a week after the election. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Raleigh, digging deeper into what we can expect. And while people are getting ready to open polling places like this one, parties and campaigns are getting ready for what happens next. North Carolina is one of the states where we could see legal challenges after the election. Once the polls close, President Donald Trump says he's getting ready for a legal battle over the election. While in North Carolina, he criticized the recent Supreme Court decision that allows the state to keep accepting mail-in ballots until the 12th of November, as long as they're postmarked by Election Day. I think it's a terrible thing when people or, or, or states are allowed to uh, tabulate ballots for a long period of time after the election is over. Republicans in the General Assembly sought to limit that to three days. On Monday, Republican Senator Tom Tillis, who's in a close race against Democrat Cal Cunningham, said he's okay with the extension. But I'm fine with that. We've, uh, we've traditionally allowed three days uh, under the circumstances with COVID. I think it's reasonable. A spokesperson for Cunningham said he's confident in the state's effort to ensure every vote is counted. Democratic Attorney General Josh Stein has defended the Board of Elections as it made changes to the rules for accepting mail-in ballots. We've already filed some 20 briefs in the last three weeks on people's right to vote. So yes, we are ready to continue to defend the voters of North Carolina, but that is really secondary because the people will decide this. Attorney John Burns is a Democrat who's worked on election-related cases. Given the Supreme Court's decision to extend the deadline on mail-in ballots, he doubts the president would be successful challenging that again. Elections are never decided on election day. Um, the, the votes are not official until every vote is counted and canvassed. And that usually takes two to three weeks. As of this afternoon, the state says there are 149,000 people who requested mail-in ballots but who have not yet voted. In 2016, there were several statewide races that were decided by a margin much smaller than that. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.